In today's video, betting odds for Hamza Chimaev versus Nate Diaz released, Chimaev and Diaz react to UFC 279 booking, Patty Pimlet talks Jordan Levitt matchup and reveals his current weight, Jordan Levitt predicts knockout finish of Patty Pimlet, and UFC London face-off highlights. As it was reported yesterday, the 279 pay-per-view main card on September 10th in Las Vegas, Nevada will be headlined by Hamzat Chimaev and Nate Diaz. The bout is scheduled for five rounds at welterweight, and it will also be Diaz's last fight under the UFC contract. This is a fight that both men have talked about for quite some time and one the UFC has also shown interest in. Now, after Chimaev vs. Diaz has been announced, sportsbetting.ag opened odds for the fight that saw Chimaev as a massive favorite. It also shouldn't be a surprise given Chimaev has been a sizable favorite in all of his UFC bouts, while Diaz hasn't been the favorite since he fought Josh Thompson in 2013. Checking out the betting odds for Chimaev vs. Diaz, courtesy of sportsbetting.ag. With Chimaev being a minus 200 favorite, you would need to bet $2,000 just to win 100 bucks if you like the Chechen to win. If you like Diaz to win, a $100 bet would net you $1,000 if the Stockton native pulls off the upset. What do you guys think about these betting odds? Do you think that Diaz has any chance of beating Boers? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Shortly after the matchup between Hamzat Chimaev and Nate Diaz was announced, the two fighters shared their reaction to the booking. ESPN's Brett Okamoto tweeted, Hamzat Chimaev provided this comment about the fight to ESPN, translated from Swedish by his representative Majdi Shamas. I am going to handle Nate Diaz's funeral with the UFC. In another tweet, Okamoto shared the reaction of Diaz's representative Zach Rosenfield, who claimed that Nate himself has been asking for this fight since April. Nate Diaz's representative, Zach Rosenfield, confirms the date and opponent of Diaz's next appearance to ESPN, adds, This is a fight Nate has been asking for since the middle of April. Chimaev's last opponent, Gilbert Burns, has also reacted to the booking, saying that he will be ready to step in if anyone gets injured. He tweeted, I might start a camp in case something happens. Patty Pimlet and Jordan Levitt are set to collide this Saturday at UFC London. Speaking to UFC News a few days ahead of the bout, Pimlet discussed their upcoming fight and responded to criticism he's been getting for gaining weight in between his fights. Here's the clip. He was the name that was on the contract and we signed it. I've said in the past plenty of times, whatever name gets sent to me on the contract, I will sign. I don't care who it is, where you're from. It just doesn't matter to me. But I do think that both of my last opponents were better and could test me more on the feet. I don't think he can test me on the feet at all. People are going on about his grappling and his grappling isn't on my level. It doesn't matter where the fight goes, I, I am better everywhere. And I'll show that when I come out and steamroll him in like two minutes, if that. Very satisfying to prove yourself right. It is just, oh, I love being right. It's just great, especially when people have doubted you for so many years and hated on you. It's brilliant to just prove yourself right and show everyone that I am the boy, you know what I mean? And everyone's starting to get the gist. They'll get it even more after Saturday night. Just think people like me because I'm I'm not a fake person, you know what I mean? What you see is what you get. And people can relate to me, you know what I mean? Can't relate to a lot of other people on the on the roster. You can relate to me, you know what I mean? As we're saying, I got nice and chubby outside the camp. A lot of people like doing that. Uh, I'm not... I am an athlete, but I'm not regimented like a soldier, like some of these are. I'm, I'm just not like that, you know what I mean? I, I'm going to have my own life as well. People think it's going to affect my career, but we'll see. Pimlet also revealed that he now weighs 169 pounds, a mere 13 pounds more than the eligible limit for the lightweight division. His tweet read, 169 pounds, fella, easy work.
Speaking to media a few days ahead of UFC London, Jordan Levitt shared his thoughts on Patty Pimlet as an opponent and gave his prediction for their fight on Saturday. Here's the clip. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this fight. Yeah, we're not we're hyping the fight up, but not in the right way. You know, a little um, a little homoerotic, if that's okay to say. But um, I think so. Yeah, we have a similar vibe, similar amount, similar charisma. Um, yeah, you know, I like him, and I think it's to be an interesting fight. I kind of fought a grappler last fight, and they lead to boring fights. And I think I'm a little too smart to make a lot of the mistakes that a lot of his opponents have made. Um, if I take him down, I'm not letting him up. If I hurt him, I'm not going to let off the pressure. Um, and he's not the most accurate striker. He has one real knockout, and he's a regional champ. And I've fought all those things before. So, no, no, I'm not impressed with a lot of things. I've fought and I've sparred of champions. I sparred of like title contenders, and I've seen everything. I've sparred 20 plus rounds every week for 10 years. And majority of those are just striking rounds. So not even in my wheelhouse. I've never been dropped by anyone near my size. I've never been hurt in any of my fights. The only time I've been cut was my headbutt. So we've done a lot of the similar, same things, me and Patty, but I've done it without taking any damage. No one knows about my chin because I don't get hit. So he's a good fighter and I really like him. And I think he's very entertaining and I'm kind of a fan. Like now, I like his interviews and all that, but it's all just, it's just work, so. And the plan is still to knock him out and twerk on him afterwards? Yeah, finish the fight, twerk, go home. UFC London Fight Week is officially underway, with Media Day and a handful of face-offs going down Wednesday. After notable athletes from the card spoke with reporters, the top three matchups from Saturday's event locked eyes for the first time in front of cameras. Here's the video from the face-offs. Here are the top three memes you guys posted on MMAMemes.com. In third place is a meme posted by user Islamabad. Second place goes to Strongbro. And the number one voted meme was posted by a user named UFC Legend. If you want your meme to be included in our next video, Go to MMAMemes.com and create your own meme. The top three memes will be placed at the end of our video. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel to keep up with the latest MMA news.